There's nothing special about my life. I work a nine to five job. Well, when I can be bothered. I never feel motivated to do anything, and I could really do with a lady about the house. It gets lonely here. You must not forget the hundreds of thousands stranded abroad. Speak from the massive head. He say, in an alibi. I'm not usually one for finding a date on the net, but. I guess a lot of people do it, and I guess all other recent attempts have failed. Maybe it's worth a shot, you know? I'm a young man. Independent, easy going, and looking for a partner. I laid my head down that night, thinking what would become of that Match.com listing. But I mainly thought how I didn't want to get out tomorrow at all. I was very surprised to have found a match on Match.com. I was taken by a profile and we arranged to meet in the local bar. I decided to take a seat in the pub garden. It was a nice day. The sun was shining down all of a sudden. Perhaps it was a good sign. Besides, it's an easy place for me to keep a lookout. After that sip, the events that followed were far from ordinary. I didn't understand it. I didn't know how I got here. It was something so beautiful yet so scary. my eyes deceiving me? It felt like all my senses were heightened in a world that made no sense at all.
It was hard to take in everything that was happening. My feet were firmly on the ground, but I felt like I was floating through a maze of impossibility. But then, what path would I take to find the end? Surely I have to be dreaming. Yet, I was intrigued, like a strong river pulling me. I was helpless to the attraction. It seemed to entice and seduce me. Where would my curiosity take me? I still had no idea what was going on. I guess, in a way, it was nice to have some peace. I assumed I was dreaming, but I feel more alive than I ever did before. understand why I was switching between these two worlds, and neither of them seemed close to reality. Comprehending what happened that day in the pub garden just strains my thought pattern. Is this a dream? Everything seems too real, but at the same time so clearly dishonest to my eyes. It was then I realised it was time to take a look at myself and what I had done. Something in my mind didn't seem right, but I think I've dug up enough soil to unearth it. No one had ever tried to contact me and meet me that night. I had no one in my life, nothing going for me. I was so upset and angry that I did something I never thought I'd do. Everything that I had done and that had happened to me through my life had driven me to find an outlet. There were no more options. Now I remember what happened that day. I had overdosed and slipped into a coma. My mind has tried to block out reality and now I'm stuck in this strange world of imagination and denial without any way to escape. I have no family or friends who will come to look for me. I've kept myself to myself for far too long. Locked away from life itself. Now my body lays on the cold floor. With no one to wake me, would I be trapped in this fantasy world forever? Will I have to spend an eternity with the lost? <laughs> 